Hello everyone, today I'm going to do this short vs. story thing. Today it's going to be the five doctors vs. the underwater manners. So let's start the video. My opinions have changed on these stories since my Let's Read Every Single Doctor Who story from um, August. Yeah, I read that video in August, so that's six months ago, so my opinions have changed quite a lot. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, let's start the video. Okay. Um, the Five Doctors is the anniversary special that celebrates Doctor Who's 20th anniversary. Features, well, John Pertwee, Patrick Triton, um, Peter Davison, and, well, clips from Sharda of Tom Baker and um, Richard Hartnell. And he plays William Hartnell. Well, he plays the First Doctor. Yeah, okay. And then The Underwater Menace, a uh, Patrick Triton story that features, um, well, Patrick Triton, uh, Jamie... Ben and Polly. Uh, so yeah. Okay, these two stories. Um, well, fans like um, the Underwater Menace is a really hated story. It's known to be terrible by fans. Everyone hates it really. Um, what do I think about it? I used to really like it. Now I really hate it. My opinions have changed quite a lot on this story. I used to give it like a seven or something, and now I give it like a four or something. Um, it's not really the greatest story. It's really not that good. Um, I don't think it's boring. A lot of people say they think it's boring. I don't think it's boring, but I just think it's ridiculous. Like, the plot is quite ridiculous. Uh, I like the fish people. Um, and, yeah, I think I find it entertaining. But that's, like, the only good things I can say about it. So, I give it a four. Um, the Five Doctors. Yeah, this story. Um, yeah, an anniversary story. Um... I think this story has quite a lot of continuity errors, plot holes, and that kind of stuff. Um, and, okay, the continuity errors, or plot holes, whatever you want to call it, is, um, the first one is that there's like, this scene where uh, Petr Trouden, uh, he meets Jamie and Zoe, but, of course, he finds out that it, it's like some hologram ghost thing is that uh, the Tower of Resonance is creating to keep him away from the chamber of a wrestling thingy, uh, yeah, something like that, it, it, it doesn't really make that much sense, but, um, yeah, but the reason, well, the way he's like, it can't be the real Jamie and Zoe, is because they were sent back to, um, the original time zones, um, in the war games, yeah, that makes kind of sense, because if you, um, think the extended media is canon, uh, and I personally do. I mean, you might not think it's canon, but I, I think it's canon. Um, so, and if, if you do, well, or if you know some stuff about the extended media, you might know that um, it's, the, of course, well, Petr in Patrick Trident's point of view, this is said after the war games. Um, and, um, yeah, that makes kind of sense, but it still doesn't make any sense how it can just be like, nah, yeah, that's definitely, it can't be them because, you know, they were sent back, uh, because it's, how does he know? I mean, it, it could be time travel, I mean, it could be them from, like, I don't know, like, after the invasion or something, like, before, um, the memories are erased. It could be that, I mean, that would make sense. Um, so it's, I mean, it could be them from, yeah, it, it doesn't make any sense. Or it could be them from, like, five minutes before the memories were erased, the time notes, yeah. That's a plot hole, because how does he know it's not that? So, how, yeah, that doesn't really doesn't make any sense. Okay. Um, other continuous heroes. Well, I know Big Finish tried to fix this uh, with their 8th Doctor Sharda, but it doesn't make any sense. If Sharda's canon, then how can um, this be canon? Or how can Sh this be canon and Sharda? Because, like, they used some 4th Doctor footage from Sharda, and with different stuff, I, yeah, and they edited it sort of, well, they used two clips, and they made it look like it's, well, uh, from some other adventure, some adventure where just, he's, uh, on this boat, and he's taken out of time, and then he's returned to time, uh, and he, 
runs into the TARDIS. That's basically what we see. So that's what it looks like from our point of view. So apparently, um, in the eighth Doctor version of Shut Up, Big Finish made, um, it's like Shadow's rewritten or something because of these events. And I think that's kind of a uh, kind of quite a stupid explanation. But um, that I guess that's the only thing that makes sense. Um, yeah, uh, we have some other lines that doesn't really make any sense, contradict stuff, and then we, of course we have Richard Hurtle, who, uh, he's supposed to be play the first Doctor, but of course he doesn't really look that much like, um, William Hartnell, because he's a different actor. Um, to be honest, I think they should have just used, um, Patrick Troughton, um, John Pertwee, and Peter Davison, um, that would have been much better, because it's annoying that they used, like, a new actor. I guess it could be a younger, um, William Hartnell, because he looks a bit younger, and he's, like, he runs around and stuff, and I, I guess he could look like a younger William Hartnell, but that doesn't make any sense because the title is a police box, and he knows he's left suits and stuff. I don't know. I, I guess it could be him uh, from some unknown story where he had plastic surgery, and he regretted it in the story afterwards or something. Um, it's just, yeah, I just created a theory that fixes this plot hole thingy. Yeah, um... That's the plot holes and stuff. Um, yeah, other negatives I have about the story is that I find it quite slow. I used to think this was a fun run around. I don't know, I might, it, it, it could be because I've kind of overwatched this story, but I don't like it that much anymore because um, I think it's quite slow. I, uh, there are so many plot holes and I have some good stuff to say about it, but not much. Um, I mean, it's, it's just... It's, I mean, we have a, good, a lot of good fan service and continuity references, and that's always good. Uh, yeah, but overall, I think I would give the five doctors a four out of ten. So overall, I think the four, the five doctors, and the underwater menace are rather equal. Really, I, I both of them gets a four. Um, I, I think I prefer the five doctors slightly, just by like tiny bit. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time for another video. Bye, everyone.